They all went on till they came to the foot of the hill. At the bottom of the hill stood a spring and an intersection with two other roads beside the one which came straight from the wicket gate. One road turned to the left and the other to the right at the bottom of the hill, but the narrow way continued straight up the hill called Difficulty. Christian walked over to the spring. Scripture. They shall never hunger nor thirst, neither shall the heat nor sun smite them, for he that has mercy on them shall lead them, even by the springs of water he shall feed them. Isaiah 49, verse 10. And drank to refresh himself, and then started running up the hill. He said, Though the hill is high, I still desire to walk up it. I don't care how difficult it is, because I understand that it leads to the way of life. Cheer up, heart, and don't grow faint or fear, because even if it is difficult, it is better to go this way, because it is the right way. For while the wrong way is easier, it ends in anguish. Formalist and hypocrisy also arrived at the foot of the hill. They paused to consider the hill and how steep and high it was, as well as the fact that there were two alternative ways to go. They assumed that these two easier ways would meet up with the narrow way on the other side of the hill, and decided to each choose one of the alternative roads. The name of one of these roads was Danger, and the name of the other, Destruction. So one turned to take the way called Danger, which led him into a vast woods, and the other took the way to Destruction, which led him into a wide field full of dark mountains, where he stumbled and fell, never to rise again. I looked toward Christian to see how far he had made it up the hill, but the steepness of the hill had caused him to slow his pace from running to walking, and from walking to clambering on his hands and knees. Now about halfway to the top of the hill, Christian came to a pleasant shady resting place made by the lord of the hill for the refreshment of weary travelers.